Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. This case has been marinating on the site for a little bit, but we got it done. 2021 Topps Update Series Baseball, a full 12 box case break, random team number one. No vet common ship. Each box is one autograph or relic card. And uh, we should have silver packs too. And we can chase stuff like that as well, in addition to the rookies of that year. Very big thanks. Oh, and of course, a chase the mantle. It's a pretty, pretty friendly price point to try to get an entry into the promo. We're over halfway there, ladies and gentlemen. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. And uh, I know it's been marinating on the site for a little bit, so the people who were buying spots early on appreciate your patience on it. All 30 teams are in, no combos. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams four and a five, nine times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. We've got David down to Shea. And then four and a five, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After nine times, we got the Royals down to the Red Sox. Trade window is open. Uh, well, I'll just use the default font for now, but I'll, I'll figure it out. All right. So David, you got the Royals, Nancy with the A's, Michael with the Angels, Chris with the Rockies, Allen with the Twins, uh, Bennett with the Rangers, Shea, you got my Dodgers, Zach with the Diamondbacks and Brewers, Andrew with the Yankees. Brian with the White Sox, Woods with the Blue Jays, Chris Parent with the Cubs, Port with the Tigers, David with the Cardinals, Nancy with the Guardians, Addison with the Phillies, Michael with the Padres, Andrew with the O's, Jeremy with the Nats, Zach with the Astros, Pirates and Marlins, Kevin with the Mets, Zach with the Braves, David with the Giants, Ron with the Reds, Andrew with the Rays, Joe with the Mariners, and Shea with the Boston Red Sox. So we're gonna pause the video for a little bit. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. So stick around, we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done, so there it is. The 2021 Topps Update Baseball Hobby Case. Full case break. Right here on a uh, the first of the month. It's the first of the month. And our first break of the day. Thanks everyone for joining us. For making this happen appreciate you good luck this is a pretty lengthy break I forgot to put this on the break schedule which I will update right now stand by you can fast forward through this part 2021 update random team break should bring us a little over an hour um, so we might be close to a dinner break at that point but we'll see Unless something fairly quick sells out. So all 12 boxes. And someone pointed, I think Jack pointed this out earlier. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of baseball action today. Monday's a traditional travel day, but even so, there's still only three games. I think we figured out that we figured out that uh, another travel day for baseball is Thursday. It's 4th of July. So it sounds like, uh, and there's all 12 boxes right here. All right, you got Acuna Jr. on the front. That's what we're looking for right there, among other things. But it looks like the... Every team is playing on Thursday. So it looks like all of the, those travel dates was moved around a little bit. All right, good luck everybody. This might actually take longer than an hour. This might be an hour and a half. Two hours maybe. We'll see. We'll just we'll just chug th chug through it and see where we're at.
think this should be a no vet common ship break, right? Yeah, no vet common ship. Most most things will. A lot of basketball free agents stuff happening. Lakers, my Lakers losing out on a lot of key free agents that they were hoping to get. I'm not sure what the Lakers can really do. They don't have a lot of assets to trade. Or they'd be sacrificing depth for a potential... Um, we'll see. All right. Is my focus set right about here? Yeah. All right. So obviously anything with RC will ship. That's not going to ship, right? That will certainly ship. Numbered cards will obviously obviously ship. That's the 2021. I'm going to sleeve all of those a little bit later. Just in the interest of time. And this will ship. There's our there's our hit. Whit Merrifield. Cool Whit going to uh, David and the Royals. Not numbered. Yeah, that's what I would like to know. What other moves can the Lakers make? Obviously, that'll ship. That's considered an insert. Right, that one photo black gold will obviously ship. That's an insert, not a common. That's a common. That one, really, the Tehran will not ship. I think most of you get the idea. It's Logan Gilbert. Davy Garcia, that's a pretty cool looking car. That'll obviously ship. And to 2021, we got uh, Brian O'Grady, Padres. That'll go to Michael. That dual Guardians card is going to go to Nancy. There's Tristan McKenzie, rookie card. Andrew Vaughn. There's some, there's some decent rookies in here. Kiebert Ruiz. And we've got a silver Hassan Kim rookie. Nice. I like seeing parallels of some of the some of the rookies there. Here's a die cut Mark McGuire, not numbered. Probably just leave these as I go along. Not too many parallels per box. And I'll do a a a, a hit recap at the end. Jared Walsh. Harden, a little on the older side. Of those LA teams, the 
guess maybe for a couple years wouldn't have been too bad. Got another silver right here. Yeah, it's a classic picture of Tony Gwynn. All right, done. Another box. Oh, silver pack. Forgot about these. Obviously, every all the everything in here will ship. All has the the uh, silver pack sort of refractor look right there. All right, nice. Onwards. Yeah, this might take a little bit longer than I thought. That's all right. In the meantime, folks, keep plugging away at the other uh, other breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Gilo, what's up? That's right. Copa America, host city, Kansas City. One of one of times, correct? You got it right this time. One of times most influential people in the world, Patrick Mahomes. Is he going to be there? You think, Gilo? You think he's going to go to the game? Support Team USA. I don't know what. I mean. This is 4th of July week. If, if, if we do not advance in the Copa America, I think it would be very disappointing. Oh, he was here for, for Messi. So why not, why not be here for for the U.S. men's national team. That game's happening at about, about an hour or so, I think. Yeah, what happens when <laughs> it's like uh, it's like the uh, the super collider when you when you fire one goat atom at another goat atom, what happens? A black hole of goat opens up. There's a tear in the fabric of space and time. A portal of greatness appears. Here's a uh, Kai Tom to 2021 Pirates. That'll be for Zach. Rex had the Mandela effect, it was wild, yeah. Forgetfulness, forgot what we learned in school. We got a silver Emilio Pagan, Jackie Robinson. And we got Ozzy Smith flipped around. I think those dark border, dark navy blue border cards are flipped around. Not numbered, but obviously they will ship. Oh, it will 
will taste like Wendy's. A little die cut here, the Duke. And like I said, the autographs are kind of few and far between, but there's All-Star Game Relic. That's going to be Marcus Simeon. Uh, that's Blue Jays. It's for uh, Courtney Woods. Anyone remember in these, in these cases how many autographs we should expect to see in a full case? So we got the hit. It's a one relic or autograph. So unless we have a surprise, we're not expecting another. Not expecting another uh, hit. But let's see if we could find even in a product like this, like a low numbered card. It's a facsimile. A low numbered card would be rather cool. These base heavy sets, like it's any low numbered stuff you get, can kind of be, is awesome. There's David Dahl to 2021 Rangers. It's going to go to Bennett. Of course, you have to chase the mantle spot at the end as well. I would hope about four or five, says Kevin. All right, yeah, let's hope for that. Um, some of those silver packs can have autographs in there too, so that'd be a nice little surprise too. The so black gold Javier Baez. Here's to two ninety nine. Nice. Sam Hentigs. That is uh, for the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you, Nancy. It's still Indians back in 2021. It's a good deal for, good deal for OKC. They're building a nice team out there at Thunder. Taylor Trammell, Lynch, Harper, and Labor Day. All right, another box. I have uh, Woj's Twitter or X account up. Anything? Uh, anything interesting there? No. About a 10 minutes ago, Dallas is sending its own 2031 second round pick as part of the, uh, the Clay Thompson deal. The sign trade is done for Thompson. Dallas will send two second round picks to Golden State. Josh Green's going to Charlotte, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So just some cleanup on the... Clay Thompson deal. I'm not sure what's going on baseball wise. Obviously, like what we were talking about before, because of Fourth of July, which is on a Thursday. Baseball travel days are generally Mondays and Thursdays for for a lot of teams throughout the week. But today, only three games. Astros are in Toronto. Astros beat the Blue Jays 3-1. Jordan Alvarez had a two-run homer. Uh, Mets Nationals are going on right now. Their Nationals are up 2-0 on the Mets. And then uh, one more game in about 40, 40 minutes or so. It's going to be Brewers at Rockies. Brewers at Rockies. That's it. But no team is off on the 4th of July, which is a traditional, which is a Thursday traditional travel day, but every team is playing there, so it should be a jam-packed, jam-packed day. Fun at the ballpark if your home team's in town.
Uh, oh, yeah, James Wood was called up today. Is he? Was he in the lineup today? He was. He is. He's one for two. One for two. Looks like just a single. But that's still good. Wow. Brandon Nemo apparently fainted in his hotel room and hit his head? Yeah, because he woke up not feeling well around 5.15, went to the bathroom, cramped up, and fainted. Jeez, that's kind of scary. Feeling sick as in he's under the weather, or... Or, uh... He had too many adult beverages the night before. Uh, we are not. We are dark on Fourth of July. We're gonna. We're not gonna stream. It's a. It's a holiday for Team Jaspi. I do like those rookie silvers. Akil the do I think still has some upside maybe. That'll be for the Tigers, Jeremy Port. Yeah. So we're off on the fourth. Back on the on the fifth. We got out of 299, Juan Lagares for the Angels. That's going to be for Michael. What's everyone doing for the 4th of July? Um, the 4th, it kind of falls nicely for me this year because the 4th of July is on a Thursday, and my days off are usually Friday, Saturday. Here's another relic, Trevor Rogers. So I have like a little long weekend. We're uh, going to visit some family in Vegas who are in town. Visit my parents, hang out with my sister. My cousins, I think, might be in town as well. A little family gathering in Vegas. And I'll be back here Sunday morning. Back to work. It's a facsimile autograph right there. I wish it was real. That's my weekend. Watch, watch the fireworks from afar. Strip fireworks from afar. Yeah, we actually, did, you know, there's Brock Holt to 2021 Rangers, Bennett. Us being more of a retail business, we don't get a lot of the, you know, we don't get a lot of the traditional federal holidays off. Like we don't get like President's Day off or anything like that. We don't do Memorial Day off. Fourth of July we'll do Labor Day we don't. We work on Labor Day. Um, we get like Thanksgiving Day off, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. A lot of the summer holidays we we do not take off. So yeah, the entire team gets to enjoy that paid vacation on the fourth. Uh, don't blow your hands off, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be like Jason Pierre-Paul. Way back when. Does he still do uh, public service announcements every 4th of July? Fireworks are, I think, are illegal in Los Angeles County. I think most cities ban them as well. Not to say people don't still find them and fire them off, but... Officially, they're not allowed, but they're around. Here's the 499. That's Josh Reddick. Diamondback. That'll be for Zach. see some gold here. Silvers are, are, are relatively common. I think the gold ones are 
Fewer, fewer and further between. All right, we got some color here. It's Aaron Judge. 81 out of 99, nice. Might win the Triple Crown this year. It's going to go to the Yankees. That will be for Andrew. Andrew Doe with the Yankees. Gilo saying, uh, fireworks are kind of less fun as adults, just literally watching your money burn. Uh, you know, breaks, at least you have a... At least you have the, the hope that you can get something back in return. That's greater than the value of what you put in. Um, I think it was last New Year's Eve or the New Year's Eve before that. I was at my, my friend's place um, in, in Arizona and there was a... Uh, His in-laws had gotten, there's fireworks in a box, is, I guess is what I'm getting to. I've never seen that until, until recently. I didn't know it even existed. My fireworks knowledge is not very strong because of our, our lack of, of you know, legally available fireworks. But you just, there's like, it's a giant box. It could be as big as this case of update with a fuse that's coming out. There's different sizes, but the fuse is coming out of it. And it's a fireworks show in a box. It's kind of amazing. It's almost, I, I want to say it's almost safer. Like you can, you can put it in the middle of your driveway and, you know, stand like, you know, 20, 30 feet away and, and you, and you light the fuse and it does a whole, a whole series of different fireworks with like a finale at the end too. It's a fireworks show in a box. Kind of amazing, yeah. Never seen them before. And I was like, wait, what? And I guess there's, I guess allegedly they're safer because, you know, you're not trying to fire off individual fireworks like from your hands, trying to light fuses. You know, you have mini bombs in your hands, you're not trying to fire those off, but so there's different sizes and different length of shows, which is kind of cool. Not sure if this the South Bay region of LA where we're located and used to have Santa Monica used to have a fireworks show, but they stopped doing that ages ago. Downtown LA still might do a fireworks show near City Hall. Are the, are, the, are the Royals doing a fireworks show, Gilo? I guess if it doesn't rain. A lot of stadiums changing uh, changing it over to to a drone show. We're doing drone shows a lot more these days. We got, here's our first autograph. It's Adonis Medina, Phillies. And it's going to be Addison with the Philadelphia Phillies. That's her first autograph of the break. First of many, I hope. Wow, Royals doing both fireworks and drones. Is that is that safe? In the same space in the sky, Chilo? What if a firework hits a drone? That's, that's causing the drone to, to, to crash into a crowd of people. That wouldn't be good. That must be a variation, maybe? It's Braves edition of Greg Maddox. That would be for Zach. Oh, not, they're not at the same time. That would be awesome. Maybe, maybe someday they will. 
Maybe I can switch to Copa tonight. I guess I could watch the baseball game for a little bit. Could see if I can catch a James Wood at bat. Do they not have this game on? Oh, there it is. Mets National MLB Network. I was like, it's got to be on somewhere. There's only three games on today. Yeah, if they could coordinate fireworks with the drone show, that, that would be next level stuff. Here's something to 70. 37 out of 70. Nice low number here. That's going to go to uh, Chris Parent and the Cubs. That's Trevor Williams. I think these out of 70s, the black borders, are exclusive to the hobby editions. If I remember, I don't know. Check the checklist. I mean, it'd be cool if you could visually like have a ring of drones and have like a firework explode inside a ring of drones if they could time that correctly. Firework design is a thing. People spend, I don't know if there's like a school for it. Here's another out of 70. Another Cub, Keegan Thompson. Another Cub for Chris. But yeah, I, I'm not sure if there's like a school for it. There must be a school for it. Here's out of 2021, Andrew uh, Neiser. Kneiser? Kneiser? Not Neiser? Drones would be great for Quidditch. How so? Like, should that be the snitch? Yeah, actually, this Nationals game that we're watching right now, right, there's there's a National. The players that the that the Nationals got in the in the Soto trade to the Padres, um, Mackenzie Gore is pitching. C.J. Abrams just recorded it out, but he's leading off. He's been having a nice season. And they just called up James Wood, who was part of that trade as well. Only Robert Hassel is not up. He's still in double A. And he's supposed to be another, another big prospect. So this, I don't know. I feel like when you see like those blockbuster trades, a lot of times those, those so-called promising prospects you know, don't always work out. There's Andrew Vaughn, rookie silver. But I feel like for the Padres, they're, they're work, it's work, or for the Nationals, that is, it's working out and then some. Like these could be like borderline line all-stars. I'm sure the Padres are not happy with it. But it's working out really well for, for the Nats. Like the, the Mookie Betts trade, which included like Verdugo and Jeter Downs. I don't know if any of those guys are even on the team anymore. And here is a Geraldo Perdomo. Rookie gold, 35 out of 50. Nice. It'll be for the Dimebacks. It's for Zach. All right. Another box. Alan, Alan going, come on, to Alan, we, we still got a lot of boxes left. A little early for for come on team. We're not even halfway through this break. With this box and then one more. True, yeah, God has got to throw out the universe. <laughs> the 
Yeah, up updates updates a lot. It's this box and then one more box, then we'd be halfway there. I think this is gonna be an hour and a half break. I thought it was gonna be an hour. I think Jumbo takes an hour. I think Hobby takes an hour and a half. We'll probably, I'll probably take a dinner break right after this. But in the meantime, let's get some other stuff sold out for uh, for after my dinner break. We do have um, some other baseball breaks that are pretty close to filling. And, and, and a couple of breaks that have been marinating on the site for a little bit, but that 2021 Top Series 1, six box jumbo, $34.99 a spot, 13 spots left, so we're over halfway there. Um, that would be a great break to do after my dinner break. What cards are in the dinner break? Vet Commons. It's gonna, you know, heat up some uh, some Vet Commons in the microwave, and you know, a little salt, a little sea salt, a little garlic, a little uh, fresh ground pepper. Really season up it really nicely. Dress it up in a little olive oil. Nice, nice light little meal. We got a Manny Machado. Got a Garrett Cole, black gold. I'd like to see some rookies in that black gold design. And we got a Machado relic, major league material, game used. For the Padres, that's going to go to Michael and the Friars. That's right, farm to table, vet commons. Maybe from this break. We got it out of 99, you can see the, uh, the different back right here. It's more of a paper instead of the glossy sort of back. That's uh, Aaron Fletcher. For the Mariners, that's going to be for Joe. Oh, by the way, like these cards right here, um, what we're going to do is, unless it's numbered, I'm not going to randomize it unless it's numbered. Like we'll just, there'll be uh, enough where we'll, each team, Angels and Rangers, will get an even amount of those uh, of those cards. Got a Mike Schmidt to two ninety nine. Nice. I think these can be autographed too. These inserts. One thirteen out of two ninety nine. That's going to be for Addison and the Phillies. Doesn't Mike Schmidt usually have a nice mustache? This is no mustache, Mike Schmidt. Here's the 2021 David Phelps, Toronto. That's going to be for Courtney.
And David Ortiz to 199, Red Sox. Yeah, the... I don't know if we can really judge the 2024 rookies the same way, but... But yeah, interesting. No one's really... From this 2021 class, at least, really kind of separated. You know, we, we, I think the jury's still out on guys like he, Brian Hayes, and Jazz Chisholm and stuff like that. I think Dylan Carlson's in this class, and I think he's been struggling a little bit as well. Robert might be different on another team. He has a little lineup protection around him. If he stays healthy, I think health is also a big concern for him. Apparently the, uh, believe it or not, the Dodgers are actually a little thin in, uh, in starting pitching. Apparently they made an offer to White Sox lefty Garrett Crochet, which, uh, which the team, which the White Sox rejected. But. I think I saw... But I think, uh, I think there were some rumblings that the Rays might be looking to trade some starters. So kind of getting to the point of the season where, where teams have to start figuring out are, if, they're, if they're buyers or sellers. And I think since teams can, uh, since teams are involved in the All-Star game, there's an Andrew Vaughn rookie, tops black gold, then that navy blue border right there, nice. Speaking of the White Sox, that's going to go to Brian Crouch. So yeah, teams are going to have to start figuring out, are they buyers or are they sellers? The wild card expansion kind of keeps more teams in it. So I, think, I feel like we wait a little bit longer and longer to see any deals get done. And even then, I also think like not a lot of deals got done last season. It seemed like a little bit of a quieter off season last, or a quieter trade deadline last season. We're going to need some offense and some bullpen help. I mean, I feel like I feel like Luis Robert would look great on that team. Not sure if the White Sox are going to trade within the division, but what about uh? I don't know. I mean, the Blue Jays GM keeps saying that they're not going to trade any of those guys. But, you know, Vlad Guerrero Jr. was asked about it, and I think he had pretty admitted as much. Listen, it, it's a business, you know. There's Steven Brault to 2021 for the Pirates. That's going to go to Zach. But 
but you know any team could use a Vlad Jr. in their lineup. There was some discussion that the Yankees were kind of kind of kicking the tires on Vlad Guerrero Jr. Here's Joey Bart. There might be a variation. It's flipped around. Tatis Jr. I heard some rumblings at the Orioles, who need some starting pitching. There's David Dahl, another one to 199 for the Rangers. That'll be for Bennett. Uh, they've kind of have a they outside of Corbin Burns. They could use a little more starting pitching at the top of that rotation. They um, and they kind of have a surplus of hitters. So there might be something. There could be something rumbling there. You know, I think the Orioles are kind of in a position where they're like, "Hey, let's 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 go." Team is looking good. The youngsters are coming up the ranks. You know, not everyone can graduate to the Orioles. But, you know, if they can get some of that surplus hitting for some pitching, that could be a move. And that's the hit. Speaking of the Orioles, there's Ryan Mountcastle, Major League Material to 25. Nice patch. Rookie in this set, too. He's having a nice season this year. That's Andrew. Andrew D with the O's. I don't think he's getting traded, but... But, I mean, Hessen Kirkstad just got called up. I mean, and he can hit the ball a ton. You know, Jackson Holiday's probably not getting moved, but I think there's still guys like Kobe Mayo in the ranks. You know, that could get, could get moved around. I'll have to look at a roster to really jog my memory on who they said they were going to possibly move but all right after the silver pack we're halfway there yeah, this, is, this is a two hour break we're already at the 50 minute mark let me adjust the schedule Tommy Pham's having a solid season. That could be, that could be just enough pop at the Royals need. That keeper Ruiz will go to Shea and the Dodgers. I just saw him right now running after a wild pitch. It's with the Nats now. Kenzie Gore, five and two thirds, scattered five hits, eight strikeouts. Nice day for him. Yeah, Tommy Tommy Pham will throw down. So scary moment for Brandon Nemo. Apparently he wasn't feeling well. Woke up at five in the morning and kind of passed out in the bathroom. Got a cut from his head, but I don't think the concussions are an issue. 
James Wood called up today. He's one for two on the day. We might see an up bat of his before this break is done. Blue Jay scratching Vlad Guerrero Jr. from the lineup versus the Astros. Hand related issue. Uh, Brewers, Garrett Mitchell is back. I think he was slated to be a starting outfielder, but but got hit by a pitch in his, uh, in, got hit on the hand, broke a finger just before the start of the season. And then so he was out for a while and then had a somewhat lengthy rehab start. But for what it's worth, during his rehab assignment for much of June, batted 318, 404 on base, four homers, um, four homers in 12 games, 10 RBIs, four steals. So he's got the, he's got some power steal combination if you're looking for uh, if you're looking for something something like that on your fantasy team. But he, but that, they've got Yelich out there, they've got Sal Freelich out there, they've got some other guys out there, and a bit of a crowded outfield. So we'll see how he how he. Uh, how he squeezes in there. It's a facsimile autograph, by the way. But like I said, I think he was slated to be a starting outfielder. There's an Alec Manoa. Starting outfielder before the season started. Andres Jimenez for Nancy and Cleveland. Yeah, Bryce Turang has been playing well. The Brewers have just been playing well in general. Here's Max Scherzer. With game use, you can kind of see a little bit of a little bit of dirt right there. Oh no. The Nationals blowing it for Mackenzie Gore. Two run double. And now the Mets have the lead. Oh, the error by Abrams. That's the knock on T.J. Abrams. There's a, uh, defensively, he's got, he, for an infielder, he's got room to improve. The bat is fine. And that'll continue to evolve, but the defense is the is a thing that burns the team. We got two out of two ninety nine six O Sanchez. Marlins should probably end up making some more moves. I would think. Zach with the Marlins. And Mackenzie Gore is not not happy. He's got hands on hips. He's kind of pacing. He's still standing, hands on hips, walking up and down the dugout. I wonder if that runner was probably wasn't really paying too close attention, but I think uh, that run is probably charged to him. Silver. It's a facsimile autograph. That uh, Angel Rondon will go to the Cardinals. That'll be for David. Got a Jared Kalanick to 2021. Still Mariners edition there. Thank you. 
now available at Walmart, Detroit, Circle, Batman. This is a story about the one. The untrained eye may not see the one as extraordinary, but her goals are easy. She fixes, she manages, she perfects. She is extraordinary. Because. Oh, a silver pack. We've got something flipped around. It's an autograph. Hirokazu Sawamura. Rookie autograph for the Red Sox. That's going to be for Shea in Boston. 71 out of 149. I don't know if uh, is this player is still playing. Hirokawa Sawamura is is uh, is back in Japan. I guess he was doing doing some work out of the bullpen. In twenty twenty two, this is just didn't really work out. He was released in September of twenty twenty two. He signed with the Chiba Lotte Marines. Japan, January 2023, that's where he has been with since. Once in a while, we like to take a look at uh, sportsbettingdime.com keeps track of uh, all of the major MLB awards and their odds throughout the and how they change throughout the year. Always fun to see that little graph move up and down, see where the players are at. Has there been a uh, really a major change here? A little bit. I think Luis Heel, starter for the Yankees, is your favorite for AL Rookie of the Year at plus 140. Will Your Abreu is behind him at plus 500, along with Colton Kowser. Mason Miller, who I think was leading the AL Rookie of the Year race earlier on, is dropped to plus 600. I think Wyatt Langford is plus 650. He'd have to keep going on a tear. He had for the cycle last night. But he would have had to go on a tear uh, the rest of the way if he wants to. I mean, that might be a good value there at plus 650. Then Sedan Rafella, David Hamilton, Heston Kirkstad, Dominguez, blah, 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 blah. Then it just gets to really long odds after that. Um, is Seth Lugo a rookie? Oh, no, we might have to look at Cy Young for that. He's not on the Rookie of the Year favorites. Right. Imanaga was leading NL Rookie of the Year favorites. Now he's 11 to 1. Not surprisingly, Paul Skeens is minus 245, so he's a heavy favorite for... Uh, for rookie of the year. Next closest is Jackson Merrill at plus 450, then Imanaga, then Joey Ortiz, Michael Bush, Gavin Stone, etc., etc., etc. But Skeens, I don't know if there's really any value here. Who's going to beat out Skeens the rest of the way? Gavin Stone maybe, but he doesn't have that that eye-popping velocity or the uh, the big strikeout numbers. But he's been pitching really well for the Dodgers. Not sure if anybody else is really close. Imanaga maybe if he heats up again. Mason Wynn, perhaps, you know, but. Or, I mean, I guess James Wood, who just got called up today, if he starts going off. He might be too late, though, for James Wood. He might have been called up too late. He might not be. He might not have enough at bats to be qualified. We'll take a look at Cy Young. 
in the next box. I'd like to see more autographs here. We've only seen two. Well, one out of a hobby box, one out of a silver pack. But we're over halfway through this break. We'd like to see more than one auto out of the boxes. Really, the silver pack is more like bonus autos. Here's to 499. There's Wade Davis for the Royals. That's for David, the Gilos Royals. Cut back there. There's Bobby Dalbeck, rookie silver. We haven't seen any gold yet either. We'd like to see some gold. And we'll go to Shea and the Red Sox. Another rookie silver right here. That's Luis Patino. Alex Bregman. Patino will go to the Friars. That'll be for Michael. No auto, but we got like a cool All Star Game relic coming up here. Here's a Christian Pache to 2021. Braves edition going to Zach. And here is Brewer's edition of Josh Hader. Big uh, commemorative relic. These always look pretty cool. It's numbered 137 out of 199. Brewers, that's going to be for Zach. Yeah, what 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 time is that game? It's in about twenty minutes, I think. But that's kind of late in Kansas City. Wonder if it's is it hot out? Maybe it's due to the heat. That's what someone mentioned in this uh, New York the MetLife game. There's Jordan Romano to ninety nine. They were like, why is this game starting so late? It's like nine or ten o'clock on the East Coast. And someone piped in and was like, yeah, it's been really hot. And I think they, they've all these sort of summer games have been scheduled a little bit later on account of the heat. To 2021, that's Nomar Mazara. It's Jeremy with the Tigers, Tigers edition. I think he ended up with the it's a facsimile autograph. I think he ended up with the Rangers. Oh, it's been hot. That one guy fainted at the last game here. Hopefully they're they're high they're they're hydrating. I mean, you have to start hydrating pretty much starting in the morning. Oh, so there's some rain, so it's, so maybe that's cooled it off a little bit. Yeah, you can start start pounding electrolyte from the from the time you get up you know pound liquid IVs all day so what what are ticket prices like Gilo? are they that pricey I'm, I'm very nervous I think the US um, or the SoFi is hosting a, uh, there's Andrew Vaughn, black to 199, 70 out of 199, hosting a group stage game at SoFi. I'm a little concerned about how expensive those, those, uh, those tickets are going to be for the World Cup.
nosebleeds were 100-ish. I, I have a feeling that nosebleeds for the World Cup are going to be a few hundred. And the AL Cy Young race, uh, Tariq Skubal is leading the way. About plus 200, two to one. Right behind him is Corbin Burns at plus 300. If they want to grow the game, make it affordable. I don't think they have to grow the biggest sport in the world, Sheila. That's why they that's why they can afford to do it. They can afford to make it hundred dollar nosebleeds and stadiums will sell out. Most stadiums anyway. So I don't think soccer's concerned about growing the game. Not international soccer. Uh, behind Tariq, then, then it jumps to 16 to 1. Tanner Hawk, Luis Castillo, Luis Hill is 20 to 1. Cole Reagan, 20 to 1. Garrett Crochet, 20 to 1. But yeah, Tariq Skubal, Corbin Burns leading the way. Seth Lugo is 48 to 1. Just ahead of Clark Schmidt, who's on the IL, and just before Grayson Rodriguez, who's plus 4,040 to 1. But yeah, the AL Cy Young is pretty much the uh, Tariq Skubal, Corbin Burns race. On the NL side of things, uh, it's a race between Zach Wheeler, plus 275, and Chris Sale, plus 380. And that's going to really burn Red Sox fans. Chris Hill into Cy Young. Glasnow is behind him a little ways, plus 600. Ranger Suarez is plus 700. Max Fried is 10 to 1. Then it jumps to Reynaldo Lopez at 28 to 1. Sonny Gray, 35 to 1. Logan Webb, 35 to 1. So the NL race is not as clear. Zach Wheeler, Chris Sale, Tyler Glasnow, Ranger Suarez all kind of in the mix. You keep hearing, see your team before the Olympics. See what exactly, a mediocre performance? Yeah. The US don't advance. You know, those. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be not a good, not, not a good look for the US men's national team. They, they've, been, they've been struggling a little bit. All right, to 70, we got, uh, we got John Nagowski for the Pirates. That's going to be for Zach. Let's see if the game's going to start in about 15 minutes. Here's Khalil Lee for the Mets, rookie silver. For the Mets, that's going to go to Kevin. And uh, 2021, we got Tariq Skubal. We are just talking about him, a favorite. I know a lot of people, when we were ripping this stuff in 2021, were like, 
We're like, all right, great, a, a Tigers pitcher, I guess. But he's a favorite, current favorite for the AL Cy Young. Detroit, it's going to go to Jeremy Port. I know, I know pitchers are not, you know, on the secondary market, not as, uh, not as strong as their hitting counterparts, but still nice. And there's an autograph. It's Jemai Jones, rookie autograph for the Halos. It's going to be for Michael Gallucci. You got to randomize the uh, Angels in this one. So what's the situation for us here? Is this just win and in? If we draw, we got to count on the... Count on others, the other game. I think that's what it is. Win and in, and then draw or loss. I mean, there's going to be going to need a little help from the other game. There's Davy Garcia, rookie silver. Here's the 299. That's Ashton Godot for the Reds. That'll be for uh, for Ron in the Red Legs. Oh, we have to win. All right. Yeah, I think if yeah. I, I think we pretty much have to win, otherwise we're gonna rely on a lot of wacky things to happen in the Panama Bolivia. Basically I think Bolivia would have to beat Panama. And then we'd have to not lose by a certain goal differential. It gets a little crazy. There's Tyler Ivey to twenty twenty one. Houston, that'll be for Zach. Similarly autographed. That's the right price. Three boxes to go. Almost there. Take a look at what the current AL MV, AL and NL MVP odds are. Um, I think everyone probably knows that uh, Aaron Judge is the favorite for AL MVP. Minus 210. Next closest is Gunnar Henderson at almost 4 to 1, plus 350. Then it jumps to Juan Soto, 14 to 1. Then Bobby Witt Jr., 21 to 1. Jose Ramirez, 30 to 1. Stephen Kwan, 80 to 1. Gordon Alvarez, 100 to 1. And it keeps just going upwards from there, so. Yeah, I guess the books are saying it's going to be Aaron Judge. Sounds like it, right? I mean, unless only injury can, I think, stop Aaron Judge. I don't think he's. I think he's locked in. Correct. Darwin Nunez is on Uruguay. He is the forward for my club, Liverpool. Um. Who is uh, kind of has a reputation for being 
a, uh, a scorer of great goals, but not a great goal scorer. <laughs> He'll miss like the easiest of shots seemingly all the time. Close range shots, really easy shots, you know. But then like seemingly impossible shots, he's scoring those. I think that happened in the last game for Uruguay. I want to say that he had missed a couple seemingly easy chances and then hit a goal from like some ridiculous angle. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, so no surprise in the AL MVP market. Is there any surprise in the NL MVP market? No. Shohei Otani is minus 200. Next closest is teammate Freddie Freeman at plus 750. Jumps up to Bryce Harper at plus, two, plus 900. And it jumps from there. Marcelo Zuna is 16 to 1. Kettle Marte is 25 to 1. Francisco Lindor is 35 to 1. So, yeah, no. Mookie, had, obviously, with the injury, he's tailed off significantly. Betting odds wise, he's not even close. I don't think they even. Yeah, they don't even have him on the board. I don't know if anyone's even taking action on it. At least not according to this website. He's not listed. There's rookie Alec Baum, one rookie of the year that year. I think he's a rookie of the year award winner, but nice uh, rookie black gold that's going to be for Addison and the Phillies. Gio's not sure about a DH winning MVP. We all know that Otani's more than just a DH. Here's Nick Gordon to 50. That'll be for Minnesota. That'll be for Allen and the Twins. It's more va most valuable player, right? Not most valuable position player. Pretty valuable to the Dodgers, I think. I think Mookie being out for a couple months, I think, definitely helps his cause, though. Personally. I kind of love to have Freddie Freeman win another MVP. He protects Otani, hits behind him, protects Otani. Right? Fields the position, first base, really well. And I feel like Otani has, is going to have plenty of opportunities once he starts pitching again to rattle off a couple more MVPs before, uh, uh, before too long. This is the best chance for for some, a player not named Otani to win an MVP in the NL. I'll bet everyone in the AL is happy. He's out of the, out of that league. Here's Kevin Pillar to 2021 for the Mets. That'll be for Kevin. Kevin with Kevin. Facsimile autograph. We got the little mascots walking out with the players. Ref giving the guy lead guy a little little soccer ball. It feels like, Gilo, there, there's some space on top of the stadium there. There's Davey Garcia. You should check tickets right now. I'll bet they're less than 100 bucks now. How long, how long would it take you to get there? Davey Garcia, that'll be for the Yankees. That will be for Andrew, Andrew D. And this one we will randomize because it's numbered 302 out of 499, Acuna Jr. and Jazz Chisholm. Braves, Zach. Miami, Zach. No, no randomizer. That decision has been overturned. VAR. 
says, no randomizer, same teams. Zach has both. He's got the Marlins, he's got the Braves. The non-number ones were just evenly distributing between those teams. Usually there's a fairly equal amount. Here's uh, Lou Gehrig. Might be a little uh, variation possibly. 83 dollar tickets now? That's not so bad. Less than a hundred bucks, I'd, I'd pop out there. Gilo, how long would it take? If you left the house right now. Yeah, that, that top section, or maybe that top section is still in the sun. Maybe people are just getting out of the sun. Oh yeah, what are they, they going to ding you for parking? That's where they get you, right? And then you got to find people to go in, and then you know, you got to find people to go with you just to save on the parking. All right, final two boxes, we're almost there. Thanks everyone for your patience on this. Thanks Gilo for keeping me company here throughout this long break. 60 bucks. I know it's all it's always crazy when when I see parking for for events at SoFi and game day is over a hundred dollars for a football game I think like 70 bucks for a major concert or something like that it's crazy And uh, it's, SoFi is still kind of uh, somewhat difficult to get in and out of. You know, it's in Inglewood, which is, you know, one of, one of LA's older neighborhoods. So the streets are still fairly narrow and kind of in like a classic sort of grid pattern. And uh, it's kind of narrow streets and you're trying to get 50, you know, I guess 50, 60, 50, 60 thousand people in there. You're talking about tens of thousands of cars trying to roll through, roll through there, in and out. Even if you take a ride share service, it's, it's you know, it's still a car. It's still difficult to kind of get in and out. Not enough. I don't think there's a really a a shuttle system that's there, which there should be from various points of Los Angeles, but I don't know if they really do that. Eventually they'll have, I think they're intending to build a light rail system that'll connect that area from the train line that goes to the airport, which is close by SoFi. It's supposed to be a little spur that'll swing out and hit the Forum, which is a premier concert venue where the Lakers used to play. And then just south of that is SoFi, there's also another smaller entertainment concert venue there. And then below that will be the new Intuit Dome, where the Clippers are going to start their season this year. So they're, uh, so that would be, that would be pretty helpful, I think. And there's, they're planning on building all sorts of, uh, you know, apartments, retail stores, and restaurant, bars and restaurants and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully I'll get some ad adequate public transportation there. It would have to be above grade though. I don't, I don't know if they were gonna really have, if they're really gonna be able to do it on the ground. All right, second to last box, almost there. Stay on target.
There's Emilio Pagan. To 70, there's Tyler Wade for the Yankees. That'll be for Andrew D. All right, let's go, boys. United States versus Uruguay. We're in the we're in we're in the classic whites. Uruguay is in their in their classic shade of blue. Joe Adele, black gold. He's he's been showing signs of signs of what he could be recently. Patrick, Patrick Mahomes, I feel like, could affect the game. Patrick Mahomes would be a good, a good midfielder, I want to say. A good center midfield, central midfielder. There's Carlos Rodon, all-star game relic for the White Sox. That's going to be for Brian. You know, I feel like I feel like he'd be able to find creative ways to distribute the ball to the forwards. You know, maybe 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 surprise surprise you with a long range goal or something like that. Tyler Stevenson, rookie silver. Got to 2021, Joey Gerber for Seattle. That'll be for Joe. We got a uh, Huascar Yanoa. Flipped around might be a variation of some sort. Braves with that one, Zach. Oh, is that an autograph? Flipped around. It is Alex Kirlov, rookie auto for the Twins. Nothing to worry about. Alan Murdoch with the Twins. He was calling for Twins real early. The case made you wait, wait late. And final box. Good luck. Are there weird camera angles in this game? Feels like a normal camera. Oh no, it feels like the bottom half of the pitch is at, blocked out, right? Al Murdoch got you a Alex Kirilov autograph out of the silver pack. Got you the hit. To 99. So on the board. Yo. Hey, can I bother you? Before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Um, uh, if USPS comes, can you just tell them that all the stuff is right there? Oh, okay. Yeah. I will do. Thanks, Asu. See you, man. Yeah. Gotta ask. Gotta put it out there.
I'm going to take a dinner break after this, but folks, I only see one order coming in. You know, that... So, what are we going to do? I guess everyone's watching the soccer game. But it's been an... Uh, that's our only order in, in an hour and a half. Quickly coming up on two hours, just one order in two hours. So if you want to get, if you want to keep going, ladies and gentlemen, jackiescasebreaks.com. Hopefully people will continue to place orders while uh, while I'm on my dinner break, and then we can hopefully get something going. A little bit of a, a little bit of a chippy game to start things off. All right, good luck, gang. Here we go. Final box. Then we'll do a quick little recap. There's Nate Pearson to 299 for the Bluebirds. That's going to go to Courtney. Do a recap. We'll give away the Chase the Mantle entry, which will be pretty nice. Put a head on it. Ooh. Dallas Garcia Silver. Alex Kirilov, Black Gold, Rookie Card. Twenty nineteen oh four out of twenty twenty one DJ Peters for my Dodgers. That'll be for Shea. Facsimile autograph. There's Jorge Guzman to 499 for the Marlins. It's for Zach. And the last hit of the break is a relic Major League Material Trey Turner. Nationals edition here going to Jeremy Port. Let's see if we can find a, another low-numbered card. Here's a Ryan McKenna to 2021 for the O's. That'll be for Andrew D. Like there's any more parallels here. I don't see any color peeking through here. Well, there might be some silver hiding there, but I think that might be it for, for color. And it's silver rookie Luis Patino Rays for Andrew G. Silver pack.
Nelson Cruz, Glavin, Honeywell, and Bagwell to close things out. There it is, gang. That's the break. Quick little recap right here. Relics and autos. A couple silver pack autos. That was a nice relic right there, too. All right, now let's see who's uh, going to win an entry to chase the mantle. Let's flip back over here. Let's gather everybody's names, Zach through Jeremy, and everyone in between. New dice, new list. One winner, entry on top. Name on top gets the entry after six and a three, nine times. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, a lot of sad faces here, especially the two spot. Sorry, Michael. Two through 30, thank you for trying, everybody. I appreciate you. We'll get him next time. Name on top, though, you're happy because you've got an entry to chase the mantle. It's Ron. There you go, Ron. Congrats to you. After nine, you've got an entry to chase the mantle, get the $3,000 of travel credit to pick it up from Hermosa Beach, California. All, a lot of good things. So you're in the mix. I'm Joe for jazpyscasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time for the next break.